forever. Dog. Welcome to Public Domain Theater with Kelly Nugent, Lindsay K. Tai, and guest Justin Michael. Reading Beyond Lies the Wub by Philip K. Dick. Welcome to Public Domain Theater, the podcast of highbrow readings with lowbrow commentary. I'm one of your hosts, Lindsay Katai. I am another one of your hosts, Callie Nugent. And today on the podcast, didn't get exact credits because I know you so well, it didn't even occur to me. But we have actor, writer, producer. Sure. Shannon, you produce stuff. Yeah, I make uh, things. Yeah, uh, Justin Michael. Hi. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank yeah. you for coming on the show, man. The word <laughs> wub is in the title of this, yeah. and I can't wait. Yeah. I know. I cannot wait either. Um, do you, so you don't know this story at all? No. Nice. I don't know anything about <laughs> this. <great. laughs> I'm excited about this fanciful made up word. Yeah. Or maybe it's the way he says love and he says, I wub. I wub you. That's what I hope. I I'm, wub you. I you know what? K Dick. I wub you. <laughs> well, that voice is coming out at some point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, it is. That's up to Kelly. It will be. <laughs> I will do many voices and many Please. accents. Oh, good. Um, which you will be expected to follow suit with. Yeah. So, um, how uh, did you do a ton of uh, assigned reading as you were supposed to as a young buck? Yeah, <laughs> as, a young, as, a, as buck. a young buck. As a young buck. <laughs> as yeah. a young buck. I, yeah, I think there was a period of time where like I did a bunch of reading and I was like a really good student, mm -hmm. and then I fell off, <laughs> and that was like later high school. And then college kind of didn't do most of the assignments in my reading. And then recently have gotten back into reading just a little bit beyond graphic novels, which I don't know why I judge them, but they don't feel the same as a book with no pictures. Well, there's just not as much to them. Like, I mean, just like heft of words. Right. Just or there's not count. as many words. Just word count alone. Yeah. And I, everyone knows that if you have more words in a book, it's, it's more legit. Yeah. yeah. Right. You're smarter if you read more words. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Which Lindsay and I must be fucking We're geniuses yes. at this point because we smart. read so much. <laughs> I feel like I get an inside peek into the making of your podcast because yeah. I work with Lindsay and see her reading all the teen creeps books mm -hmm, all yeah. the time and it's like okay sorry can't go out to lunch i'm reading three books yeah mm -hmm, yeah <laughs> like you guys are your heroes oh yeah, thank, thank you, you. Uh, that's are. why we brought you on yeah. and made you sign that paper that said you would say we're here yeah, yeah. and uh do i get paid mm. hello no. okay i'm getting a call um so i should <laughs> <laughs> call. that was an immediate I, call <laughs> i really thought that you were for a second i'm a really, really good actor sold that. I'm a really i actor. suddenly have to go right now <laughs> yeah i should have gone and what credits you wanted us to say beforehand, but I will say that Justin and I write together on Infinity Train. It's true. Coming to Cartoon Network in 2019. Mm -hmm. You do a voice on Danger and Eggs on yeah. Netflix. Um, nice. You do... Name a third thing. Uh, well, I have a show that's out by the no, time No, you have this to say that out. one at the end. Okay. I'm oh, just I kidding. Oh, I say that one you at the end? Right <laughs> She's just trying to <laughs> control you. Uh, it's good. You're good at it. Uh, it's called Bad Reception. It's nice. a show on Audible. It's an improvised narrative podcast. It's a lot of fun people, improvisers, comedians. It Paul F. Tompkins and Lauren Lapkus and all those folks. You know, mm -hmm. comedy you know, people. The podcast, the podcast, the podcast, podcast people. Folks. The podcast yes. comedians. You know, the two of them, but not Scott Ackerman. They do the podcast circuit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of fun people. And then that's the thing that I just made and I'm proud of it. And I hope people listen to it. That's Yay. awesome. Yeah. Um. Okay. So are you... Do you know much about Philip K. Dick other than he wrote Blade Runner? Yes. I like little <laughs> things, but I've never read Philip K. Dick. And I feel like Philip K. Dick is somebody I would enjoy reading mm -hmm. from the things I'm interested in. The book, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, is very different than from what happens. The movie. Yeah, yeah. Then it's very different. Is it that good? is what uh, Blade Runner is based yes. off of. Uh, which Blade Runner is very like, you know. This is a postmodern noir, and you're gonna like it because you're 22 and trying to be serious, which is true. I do really like it still, and I'm a little older than 22, um, but <laughs> just a little, just a little. Thank you, Lindsay. Bitch. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you young, you youngin. Yeah, I am young. Yeah. Um, anyway, but yeah, it it is different. It's 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 definitely um, pulpier, I would say. Okay. Well, we'll see if this is pulpy. I, I mean, I I've like never pulpy. read this. 
guys, yeah. if you like pulpy, I just read something called Lovecraft Country. Have you guys heard of it? What? It's, I have. It's very good. What I is it? it? It is. Um, I don't know why I'm I'm promoting some book that I read, but hey, you feel like the right people yeah, to tell. Yeah, I was please, very, by like, all it's means. my favorite book that I've read in a podcast. long time, and I also don't read a ton these days, so do with that what you so will. So it's, it's a novel. Yeah, so it's like a mix. It feels like a collection of short stories, but then they're kind of an interconnected narrative. Cool. As you start reading, and it's kind of like based on, it has like Lovecraftian sort of themes and monsters, but it's centered around racism. <laughs> Because Lovecraft was that a fucking racist. I was just going to make a joke and be like, does it have the racism? But that's so funny. And so it's somebody like that's using so cool. Lovecraft against Lovecraft's ideals to talk about oh. how shitty and, and racist our country is. That's really cool. In a fictionalized narrative. It's really great. I don't want to spoil anything. And oh. it's, yeah. it's really, really good. Check it out, folks. Check it out. Okay. So what <laughs> okay. do we know about Phil K. Dick? When was he born, girl? Oh, Lindsay's so good at guessing. She's so good when, at guessing. When was the story written? Uh, we will never know. Never. We'll never know. Uh, no, I looked at it by accident. I was Dang. trying to find when it was written, and instead I just looked at the date he was born. Okay, 1928, he was born. Knew it. But Mirror died in 1982. Whoa. 2882. Mm. Okay, so we're already getting some like mystical numbers here. All right. He's an American, <laughs> American writer known for his work in science fiction. His work explored philosophical, social, and political themes and often drew upon his life experiences in addressing the nature of reality, identity, drug abuse, schizophrenia, and transcendental experiences. He had a twin sister, guys. How oh, cute. His middle name is Kindred? I love that. Wow. He should have gone, gone by Kindred, Kindred Dick. Dick. Kindred <laughs> Dick, yeah. Oh, oh, Kindred Dick. I well, know. I like I, the first part and I hate <laughs> the second part. <laughs> His twin sister was named Jane Charlotte Dick. They were born six weeks prematurely on December 16, 1928 in Chicago. Jane Dick. Jane Dick. Fun with Jane and Dick. Love that. Mm. Love that. Uh, well. Oh, no, but so sad. Shit, what the hell? She dies six weeks later. He then oh. has the recurrent motif of the phantom twin in his books because he was so affected by having a twin that had died. Wow. Wow. Oh. This is very sad. So when he was five, his father's transferred to Reno, Nevada. Hell yeah. Ooh. When his mother, Dorothy's like, I'm not moving, they divorce. Oh. Both parents fight for custody of Philip, oh. which was awarded to Dorothy. Oh, so Philip so and Dorothy, didn't. he didn't, but dad did. He, they moved to Washington, D.C. and then San Francisco. Different again. Yeah. Oh. He goes to Berkeley High School. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How dare you bait me with Berkeley, assuming wow. it was the college. <laughs> Sorry, guys. He you. and fellow science fiction author Ursula K. Le Guin were members oh. of the same graduating class, but they didn't know each other. Oh, stop it, Kelly. You know what? It's bait and switch. Uh, it's, this is, ah, oh, Brad, why do you do this to me? In the 1950s, he starts publishing short stories, working exclusively within the science fiction genre. He's dreaming of mainstream success. He's struggling financially. He's lamenting that he can't even pay the late fees on a library book. This is sounding a little why me, you know? Mm. Like, just, like, it'll happen after you die. <laughs> just keep putting up those late he fees. Had success within his lifetime. Let's keep going. Throughout the 60s and 70s, he publishes a series of now classic sci-fi novels that earn him a reputation as a genius in the genre. The Man in the High Castle, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, The Racist for Blade Runner, and Ubik? Ubik? A Scanner Darkly. Maybe Ubik? Nevertheless, the mainstream library literary world was unappreciated. I'm sorry. I'm having, I can't see because of these glasses. Yeah. The mainstream literary today, world as well. They don't work as well. Were, was unappreciative because he could publish books only through his low paying science fiction publishers. His financial oh. troubles persisted. Oh, I thought he got better. He struggled with the exhaustions of a demanding writing schedule, amphetamine addiction, painkiller addiction, and the hallucinatory side effects of those addictions. Weird thing to include as a side note. He was married five times. Moving on. I don't know. We've had weirder. <laughs> As side notes. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. February 17, 1982. After completing an interview, he contacts his therapist, complaining of failing eyesight, advised to go to a hospital immediately. He doesn't. Following mm -hmm. day, found unconscious on the floor of a Santa Ana, California home, having suffered a stroke. On February 25, 1982, Dick suffers another stroke in the hospital, which led mm -hmm. to brain death. Five days later, uh, he was disconnected from life support and died. He had a very sad life. And then in May, I was born, and I am him. 
Oh, Girl, is that why? What? Yeah. Philip. Oh my God, Kindred, Phantom you're twin. here. Kindred. I will be going by Philip Kindred from now on. That's the wuss move I would have made. <laughs> Philip Kindred, though, that sounds good. Yeah, that's better than Dick. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I thought now as me. But you know, it's like I feel like it's like a Dick Tracy kind of. You know, he's he was like I'm like masculine and and like. Uh, I do think dark. at the time it wasn't so much. It was like private eye. Too, yeah, right? you, yeah. Private eye. People, men were still going by the nickname Dick. Yeah. He did Dick insist Tracy. on being called penis by everybody around that him. Was that was weird. Kind of and then later it was a little Phallus, weird. which was different. Yeah. Just yeah. a little, but though. But that was like, what, but six years? But he was so creative. He was so creative. I will say, I own a book of his, and it's not, it's nonfiction, and it is bananas it's basically him like losing his mind later in life it's just journals documenting and exploring his religious and visionary experiences and it's all sort of like everything's a hologram we're being watched end of days kind of thing and it, it it's like he wrote ubic if i am saying that right and then he started to like kind of think that that was real like that was the way Spent things so are. much time writing that that yeah. he like, believed it mm-hmm. and i read some of it but it is like it's real dense go to the beach yeah okay <laughs> should we start reading this thing yeah. yeah no it's something that front of the go show the omar beach. and i have been saying about oh, okay. <laughs> people that are too nerdy which we're very beach. nerdy people go to the beach is like because you're too nerdy and you don't go out enough or what yeah the... it's like when people think that like a thing that you're in is real life <laughs> <laughs> oh, go to the beach and go to the beach i don't even like the beach go to the beach though and then the opposite is read a book <laughs> yep read a book read a yeah, book at the beach if you're surfing too much read a book yeah <laughs> don't oh, do uh, too much of one, one thing, thing. Ooh. compartmentalize no wait not that uh <laughs> diversify i made a go. real face at that <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay are we ready to read the thing yeah. beyond lies the wub by <laughs> philip k dick there's like a little quote at the beginning yeah and it expects that we know what this is. I don't know. The slovenly wub might as well said, many men talk like philosophers and live like fools. They'd almost finished with the loading. Outside stood the Optus, his arms folded, his face sunk in gloom. Captain Franco walked leisurely down the gangplank, grinning. What's the matter? He said, you're getting paid for all this. The Optus said nothing. He turned away, collecting his robes. The captain put his boot on the hem of the robe. Robes. Just a minute. Don't go off. I'm not finished. Uh oh. Oh, wait, am I doing different voices here? Hold on. The Optus. Oh, the captain stepped on the Yeah, yeah, okay. And they're all in robes? They're all in robes. And there's an Optus and there's a captain. Okay, cool. Okay. All words I understand. Yeah. yeah. Definitely Optus. Yeah. That's, I understand. <laughs> Optus that number one, one the most. my uh-huh. favorite thing. Yeah. Oh, the Optus turned with dignity. I'm going back to the village. He turned toward the animals and birds being driven up the gangplank into the spaceship. There's a lot going on. We just got thrown in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, these stories, they love just throwing you in. Mm-hmm. I must organize new hunts. Sure. Sure, Here's why another not? another thing. I mean, because I don't know what this world or what's going on is, I have to assume that you must. Franco lit a cigarette. Sure. Why not? Yeah. You, you people can go out into the veldt and track it all down again. But when we run that. out halfway between Mars and Earth, the Optus went off. Wordless. Oh, he left. Yeah. I, see. I, I thought he went like, off. Fuck off, Frank, or whatever his name just was. Franco. Franco. <laughs> Frank A. <laughs> Franco joined the first mate at the bottom of the gangplank. How's it coming? He said. He looked at his watch. We got a good bargain here. Okay. The mate glanced at him sourly. How do you explain that? What's the matter with you? We need it more than they do. I'll see you later, Captain. (laughs) The mate threaded his way up the plank between the long-legged Martian go-birds into the ship. Franco watched him disappear. It's an alien arc. Yes, I think Mm, so. I think so. And they're going to hunt later. They're to gather more, perhaps? Perhaps. I think so. He was just starting up after him up the plank toward the port when he saw it. My God. He stood staring, his hands on his hips. Peterson was walking along the path, his face red, leading it by a string. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Captain, he said, tugging at the string. Franco walked toward him. What is it? The wub stood sagging. Oh, fun. That's it's, what the wub is. It's a is. wub. It's a thing. Its great body settling slowly. It was sitting down, its eyes half shut. 
a few flies buzzed Aww. about its flank and it Sweetie twitched its would. tail. Oh, he's like um, Snuffleupagus or something. <laughs> and only Philip Kindred Dick can yeah. see it. <laughs> it sat. There was silence. It's a wub, Peterson said. I got it from a native for 50 cents. He said it was a very unusual animal. Very respected. This? Franco poked the great sloping side of the wub. It's a pig. A huge, dirty pig. <laughs> what right. if he did just get a big, dirty just pig? A big, He's like, dirty this pig. is an unusual yeah, animal. None of us have wub. seen it before. <laughs> the natives say you're being racist. Okay. <laughs> um, A huge pig? It must weigh 400 pounds. Oh, Franco wow. grabbed a tuft oh, of the rough hair. It's like um, an, an okja. okja. Yeah. Franco grabbed a tuft of the rough hair. The wub gasped. Its yeah, eyes opened, small and moist. Then its great mouth twitched. A tear rolled down the oh, wub's no. cheek. It's it is on the Oksha. floor. I don't like it's this story, crying. Brett. Because things, worse things will happen to this creature. I know. We know it. Maybe it's uh, good to eat. No, Peterson don't. said nervously. Yeah, that well, dirty pig with flies buzzing yeah. around it. Maybe we should eat Maybe it. Maybe it's delicious. We'll soon find out, no. Franco said. The wub survived the takeoff, sound asleep in the hold of the ship. Okay. When they were out in space and everything was running smoothly, Captain Franco bade his men to fetch the wub upstairs so that he might perceive what manner of beast it was. The wub grunted and wheezed, squeezing up the passageway. Come on, Jones grated, pulling at the rope. The wub twisted, rubbing its skin off on the smooth chrome walls. Mm. So it can't fit through the hallways and is no. being skinned? Basically skinned. And knows how to cry. <laughs> it burst into the amp ante he room. Knows. He knows how. Oh my That's God. how crying works. If you know how to do it. It's more human than Franco, I tell yeah. you. <laughs> it burst into the ante room, tumbling down in a heap. No. The men leaped up. Fuck you, men. I don't, you haven't done anything yet, but I don't trust you. Good Lord, French said. What is it? It's a fucking wub. Peterson said it's a wub, (laughs) Jones said. (laughs) It belongs to him. He kicked at the wub. The wub stood up unsteadily panting. Brett, I don't, I can't deal with this right now. I can't do this. Okay. (laughs) He he goes. tells us to keep going. He he said, just fucking wait. (laughs) You just fucking. Fucking fucking, yeah, that I can is... confirm he definitely said that. Yeah. <laughs> and that definitely sounds like Brett. Yeah. I mean, I've done my Brett impersonation many times on this show. I think I've, I'm have i closest right now. Yeah. I'm talking this all the fucking time. <laughs> Just you wait. Just you fucking wait. Um, he kicked at the web. The web stood up unsteadily panting. What's the matter with it? French came over. Is it going to be sick? They watched. The web rolled its eyes mournfully. Oh, it cool. gazed around I'm at the men. I'm even more of a vegetarian now. Uh-huh. I think it's thirsty, Peterson said. He went to get some water. French shook his head. No wonder we had so much trouble taking off. I had to reset all my ballast calculations. Oh, boo-hoo, you've taken a creature from its home. And you kicked it. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. You made its eyes, like, roll mournfully. Yeah, why is it upset we just kick it and skinned it (laughs) and dragged it around and screamed at it a little bit? Peterson came back with the water. The wub began to lap gratefully, splashing the men. Captain Aww. Franco appeared at the door. Fuck you. Let's have a look at it. He advanced, squinting critically. You got this for 50 cents. Oh, that's cheap. Yeah. It is yeah. cheap. It's quite a steal. Yeah. And this is future money, I assume. Oh, yeah. So this is like, what, a cent? Probably. Or who knows? Oh. Maybe there was a depression. What does Peterson sound like again? Eh. Okay. Yes, sir, Peterson said. <laughs> it eats almost anything. I fed it on grain, and it liked that, and then potatoes, and mash, and scraps from the table, and milk. It <laughs> seems to enjoy eating. After it eats, it lies down and goes to sleep. You're describing anything. <laughs> yeah, and, hey, Peterson, and, that's what humans do? <laughs> <laughs> I love eating and lying down and going to sleep. And so also, try, a, try a leafy green, man. Yeah. yeah. I see, Starch. Captain Franco said. Now, as to its taste, that's the real question. I doubt if there's much point in fattening it up anymore. Seems fat enough to me already. Why does it to be so rude? He is so rude. He's so rude. How so rude. Oh, what if the web's favorite thing to eat is Franco? <gasps> nice, nice, nice. I, hope. I mean, I would really God enjoy willing. that. I would enjoy that God personally. Willing. Personally. Plus, he's fat enough. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. It's meh. Where's the cook? I want him here. I want to find out. The web stopped lapping and looked up at the captain. <gasps> What? what? What's what's gonna happen? Really, Captain? The wub said. What? 
I suggest we talk of other matters. The room was silent. Nice. What was that? Franco said just now. The the wub, sir. Peterson spoke. It's Peterson said it spoke. They all looked at the wub. What did it say? What did it say? It suggested we talk about other things. My jaw dropped. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I was legitimately was surprised. Shocked. I couldn't even speak for a second. My jaw dropped. Franco walked toward the wub. He went all around it, examining it from every side. Then he came back over and stood with the men. I wonder if there's a native inside it. Fuck you. He said thoughtfully. Ugh. No, he, he said thoughtfully. Not that thoughtfully. I wonder. Here, let me take that again. I wonder if there's a native inside it. He said like an insane person yeah. <laughs> who is also racist. Maybe we should open it up and have a look. Oh, this is like that Disney cartoon with the yeah. singing, the whale. singing whale. Singing and then whale. fucking Captain thinks that there's three opera singers stuck inside and so he kills him. Spoiler. Oh, goodness, the wub cried. Is that all you people can think of, killing and cutting? Franco clenched his fists. Come out of there. Whoever you are, come out. Nothing stirred. The How men are they stood so together. fucking stupid? How are they this stupid? It's like, going to take them a while. They have seen so many different kinds of animals. Mm -hmm. and alien they just, animals. Alien animals. They cannot conceive that, that a one voice. Uh, they deserve whatever happens to them. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Great. Nothing stirred. The men stood together, their faces blank, staring at the wub. The wub swished its tail. It belched suddenly. Nice. Go I on. beg your pardon, <laughs> the wub said. I don't think there's anyone in there, Jones said in a low voice. Yeah, right on, Jones. Yes. Jones, <laughs> Jones. They all looked at each other. The cook came in. You wanted me, Captain? He said. <laughs> nice. What's this thing? This is a wub, Franco said. It's to be eaten. Will you measure it and figure out? I think we should have what a talk. What the fuck is wrong with Franco? He's a dick. Yeah. <sighs> I'm not a Philip K. dick. Mm -mm. <laughs> nice. Kindred. Yeah. I think we should have a talk, the wub said. I'd like to discuss this with you, Captain, if I might. I can see that you and I do not agree on some basic issues. I love the web. Yeah. Oh, I love the web. Long live the web. Long mm -hmm. live the web. Web for life. <laughs> Hashtag web life, 2018. Web. <laughs> the captain took a long time to answer. The web waited good-naturedly, licking the water from its jowls. Come into my office, the captain said at last. He turned and walked out of the room. The web rose and padded after him. The men watched it go out. They heard it climbing the stairs. I wonder what the outcome will be, the cook said. Well, I'll be in the kitchen. Let me know as soon as you hear. Did they wonder aloud what the outcome will be of like yeah. the story, essentially? Gersh, yeah. I wonder what's going to happen. Wonder well, how things will end for us characters. <laughs> Let me know when the story's over. In parentheses, this is what you should be thinking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Thank okay, you for putting okay, that yeah. in there. Okay, let, me get, let me take your soft, chubby hand, and I'm going to mm -hmm. lead you along mm -hmm. in the story. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't drag me against the wall like the wub. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Depends on how much you weigh. Mm -hmm. The wub eased itself down the corner with a sigh. You must forgive me, I said. I'm afraid I'm addicted to various forms of relaxation. When one is as large as I... The captain nodded impatiently. He sat down at his desk and folded his hands. All right, he said. Let's get started. You're a wub? Is that correct? <laughs> it's the one thing we know about him. They've said that it's a fucking wub. That's like... At least 75 times. It's like uh, last week's episode, uh, Greg said, it's like somebody made a bet with him that he couldn't write a yep. thousand words about candles. Yeah. <laughs> this time it's, I bet like, you can't uh, come use up with any the word. word wub. Come up with any word. I'll, 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 write, I'll write a story and I'll use it 79 times. Yeah, yeah. we'll put it in the Oxford English Dictionary if you use it yeah. 75 times. Mm -hmm. All right, so name it, name it. That's the rule. Wub. Uh, wub. wub. Okay, not, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna right. do it. I'm gonna do it. You oh. and what twin sister? Oh. <laughs> How dare you? I told you that in a moment. Yeah, ago. well, you should have gotten drunk and told me that. Um, I'm always drunk. I can't believe you'd bring that up, too. I mean, come on. You're holding a flask right now, too. Uh, this, I'm holding one for my twin sister. God, that's worse. <laughs> that's why we all talk about it. You Charlotte. hold a flask for your dead sister. Charlotte! I don't want to get involved in this. I don't want to get involved. Is this Charlotte's this. ghost? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't want any. I don't, want, I don't want any part of. <laughs> oh dear, Philip. You know I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I'm a ghost. <laughs> the wub shrugged. I suppose so. That's what they call us, the natives. I mean, we have our own term. And you speak English? You've been in contact with Earthmen before? No. But how do you do it? Speak English? Am I speaking English? I'm not conscious of speaking anything in particular. I examined your mind. My mind. I studied the contents, especially the semantic warehouse, as I refer to it. I see, the captain said. Telepathy, of course. We are a very old race, the wub said. Very old and very ponderous. 
It is difficult for us to move around. You can appreciate that anything so slow and heavy would be at the mercy of more agile forms of life. There is no use in our relying on physical defenses. How could we win? Too heavy to run, too soft to fight, too good-natured to hunt for game. How do you live? Plants, vegetables. We can eat almost anything. We're very Catholic. Tolerant, <laughs> eclectic Catholic. We live and let live. That's how we've gotten along. The wub eyed the captain. And that's why I so violently objected to this business about having me boiled. I could see the image in your mind, most of me in the frozen food locker, some of me in the kettle, a bit for your pet cat. So you read minds, the captain said. How interesting. It Anything took me a else? very long yeah. time to figure that out after you said it five times. <laughs> it must have been very quick reading to read mine. <laughs> <laughs> Blank done. <laughs> Wait, is the Captain Franco? I've, I've forgotten. Yeah, apparently yeah, it's Captain, Captain Franco. Franco. Okay, cool. Anything else? I mean, what else can you do along those lines? A few odds and ends, the web said absently, staring around the room. A nice apartment you have here, Captain. You keep it quite neat. Respect life forms that are tidy. Some Martian birds are quite tidy. They throw things out of their nests and sweep them. Indeed. The Captain nodded. Rude. But to get back to the problem. Quite so. You spoke of dining on me. The taste, I am told, is good. A little fatty, but tender. But how can any lasting contact be established between your people and mine if you resort to such barbaric attitudes? Eat me. <laughs> Rather, you should discuss questions with me. Philosophy, the arts. And I'm handing it Ooh, over to Justin. Ooh, philosophy, the arts. It's right at the top. Oh, thank you. The captain stood up. Philosophy, it might interest you to know that we will be hard put to find something to eat for the next month. An unfortunate spoilage. I know. The wub nodded. But wouldn't it be more in accord with your principles of democracy if we all drew straws or something along that line? Oh, my God. After all. Oh, <laughs> sneaky. Nice, Smart nice, Smart nice. I like this. Eat After all, Franco, democracy. Eat Franco. I want Everybody them to eat, eat him Franco. so much. I, kind of I want them like to eat him going so to. much. Oh, my God. I bet he's so tough and gamey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I mean, all like his robes, too. A little too. bit of fatty. Yeah. But, like, it's kind of funky. Well, he's got, like, the skin is pretty leathery, you yeah, imagine. Yeah, and, and like, it's too thick. It's, mm -hmm. like, greasy, but not in, like, a good fatty way. No. No. Just, like, it's, like, slimy-ish. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's, like, it's, like, viscous. Mm -hmm. So just kill Franco and don't just, eat him? Just, yeah. like, throw him out the chute. Just, like, take yeah. a bite so you know you tried it. You, Try like, had a good once, attitude about it. Once. Yeah, I've tried Franco. I tried it. I don't I like it. I know like it. I don't it's like Franco. But me. I did try it. It's yeah. just not, it's not my taste. I'm Everybody goes. And then the person you were talking to goes, oh, yeah, it's disgusting. And you're like, oh, good. Thank, thank God. God. Yeah, thank yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought we're you were wearing those no, Franco no, 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 no. Ooh, gross. Great. So no. he's gone. <laughs> we eat those. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's They're see. They're delicious. <laughs> Franco fans, so <laughs> yummy. So yummy. So yummy. James, Dave. <laughs> well, no, never mind. Uh, anyway, moving on. After all, democracy is to protect the minority from just infringements. Now, if each one of us casts a vote... The captain walked to the door. Nuts to you, he said. Nuts to you. <laughs> oh, nuts to you. In the future, they still say nuts to you. Oh, fun. Like we do every day today. Uh-huh. He nuts opened the door. <laughs> I like nuts to you better. He opened his mouth. <gasps> he stood frozen, his mouth wide, his eyes staring, his fingers still on the knob. I'm sorry, what? Holy the shit. The wub watched him. <gasps> Presently, it padded out of the room, edging past the captain. Mm -hmm. It went down the hall, deep in meditation. The room what? was quiet. Mm -hmm. So does the, I, I think the web is controlling yeah. him. Yeah. He's got mind control. Yes. So you see, the web said, we have a common myth. Your mind contains many familiar myth symbols. Ishtar, Odysseus. Peterson sat silently, staring at the door. Peterson. Oh, this was Peterson. Peterson's the captain. No, no. Franco's the captain. Peterson's like the like what lackey. Mm -hmm. He's just there. He's there, I guess. He's staring at the floor. He shifted in his chair. Uh, go on, he said. Please go on. <laughs> oh, man. I find in your Odysseus a figure common to the mythology of most self-conscious races. As I interpret it, Odysseus wanders as an individual, aware of himself as such. This is the idea of separation, of separation from family and country, the process of individuation. Individuation. Oh, but Odysseus returns <laughs> to his home. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shut up, Peterson. No, I got questions. Uh, Peterson looked out the port window at the stars, endless stars burning intently in the empty universe. Judging silently. <laughs> Watching, waiting. <laughs> Finally, he goes home. Oh, my God. As must all creatures. 
The moment of separation is a temporary period, a brief journey of the soul. It begins, it ends, the wanderer returns to land and race. The door opened. The wub stopped, turning its great head. Captain Franco came into the room. The men behind him, they hesitated at the door. Are you all right? French said. Do we have a voice for French? French? No, uh, he's just like pretty nondescript, but I appreciate that new voice. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be the most boring character. <laughs> Do you mean me? Peterson said. Surprised. No one ever means you, Peterson. No one ever means you. Who the fuck do you think that he's talking to? There's a one very strange creature in here. You are so fucking boring. No one's ever happy that fuck you're on the off, ship. Fuck off, Peterson. Fuck off, Peterson. We wish you were dead. D E D, dead, dead, dead. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> <laughs> Franco lowered his gun. Come over here, he said to Peterson. Get up and come here. There was silence. <gasps> Thank you for noting it. <laughs> Go ahead, the wub said. It doesn't matter. Peterson stood up. What for? Oh, my God. It's an order. <gasps> Peterson walked to the door. French caught his arm. What's going on? <laughs> Peterson wrenched loose. What? What's the matter with you? <laughs> Captain Franco moved toward the wub. The wub looked up and where it lay in the corner pressed against the wall. From where it lay in the corner pressed against the wall. It is interesting, the wub said, that you are obsessed with the idea of eating me. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Get up, Franco said. If you wish, the wub rose grunting. Be patient. It is difficult for me. He is a, it's like a 400 pound pig. Yeah. <laughs> It He's stood gasping, smart its okra. tongue lolling foolishly. Aww. May sound smart, but he looks like a big dummy. <laughs> shoot it. Oh, shoot it now, French oh, said. French, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I mean, well. Uh, you're burying yourself. For God's sake, Peterson exclaimed. Oh, my God, Peterson. <laughs> Jones turned to him quickly, his eyes gray with fear. Gray with fear. Okay. Is that a phrase? Mm, it is now. No, I mean, I but know. I get it. Or, it, or fear. it was then. Yeah. His eyes boring colored with fear. <laughs> uh, you didn't see him like a statue standing there, his mouth open. If we hadn't come down, he'd still be there. Who? The captain? Oh, wait. Who? The captain? Peterson start, <laughs> stared around. But he's all right now. They looked at the wub standing in the middle of the room, its great chest rising and falling. Freeze those fuckers, wub. Yeah, come on. Yeah, just freeze all of them, dude. Oh, and eat them. Come on, Franco said. Out of the way. The men pulled aside toward the door. You are quite afraid, aren't you? The wub said. Oh, Have shit. I done anything to you? Oh, I am against the idea of hurting. All I've done is try to protect myself. Can you expect me to rush eagerly to my death? I'm a sensible being like yourselves. I was curious yeah, to see your so. ship. More so. Oh, yeah, definitely more so. They call people natives and just assume they're the worst. Yeah. yeah. Uh, learn about <laughs> they you. They see a talking creature and they're like, there must be a person in there. <laughs> Truly, right? As we're saying. <laughs> there must this. be a person in there. We should eat it. They're a person. I suggested the native. The oh. gun jerked. Oh. See? Franco said, I thought so. Oh, man, Franco. The wub settled down, panting. It oh. pulled its paw out, pulling its tail around it. It is very warm, the wub said. I understand that we are close to the jets, atomic power. You have done many wonderful things with it, technically. Apparently, <laughs> your scientific hierarchy is not equipped to solve moral, ethical. Franco turned to the men crowding behind him, wide-eyed, silent. I'll do it. You can watch. Ew, <laughs> Ew. what? God. I don't know. Oh, is Franco oh, going to fuck the wub? Got no yeah, he's like, he's like, I'm going to fuck I, this wub, man. I, oh, God, it's Okja. Uh, and, it is, it's just, did people try to sleep with Okja? No, but the remember the Jake Gyllenhaal character, like, Jake brings Gyllenhaal it in. was insane in that movie. I never saw Okja. It's not, don't ever watch it. It's wild. It was He was like a parody of of a character that you would expect to be in one of those movies. Yeah, it's not that it was like a bad movie. Mm -mm. It's just that it's so... I mean, there's a rape scene. Another oak, another yeah. creature like Okja rapes Okja, and Ugh. Jake Gyllenhaal sets it up and he keeps. Oh yeah, I remember like, you were saying you were talking about that. Electrocuting her with a stick. Yeah, yeah it's, I don't it's need it, dude. Really no. horrible. At this point, it's like, do you need to put that in your brain? No, there because the things. real world is already really bad. Oh no, but when I escape, I want to see that happen in movies as well. <laughs> <laughs> and short stories from fifty years ago. Yeah. Oh, here okay, we go. so we're gonna see. He's gonna try and fuck. Uh, what is it called? Wub. 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 Wub, wub, wub. French nodded. Try to hit the brain. It's no good for eating. Don't hit the chest. If the rib cage shatters, we'll have to pick bones out. <laughs> they still want to eat it? My I God. Guess so. You just, like, why? No, and There's I, so much food available. I eat meat. I like meat. I regret eating meat sometimes. Yeah. But uh, if 
an animal started talking to me intelligently, I wouldn't yeah, be yeah. like, mm, let me eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing like I'm not like, oh, I'm like, I'm hungry. I'm like ready. I'm open to hearing other points of view and arguments. And if an animal is like, I'd really rather you didn't hear eat me i'd be like okay i see your point i see your point in the minute an animal said that, that yeah. to me i'd be like done i'm a vegetarian you know what this worked as well as lisa the vegetarian <laughs> except that didn't quite work but it was a really good sentence <laughs> it got episode. Very yeah. Close. Got me. Yeah. yeah uh listen peterson said oh. licking his lips why is he ho- huh? i'm sorry peterson has a problem peterson has a very bad problem i i feel like philip k dick is writing a story where like they're all building up like to a sexual crescendo of I the agree. idea I of agree. shooting this animal. Uh-huh. And then they're all going to end up uh, having sex with each other. The orgy. And then the wub's going to take over the captain's chair and be like, I'm the captain now. And just like world peace. Yeah. He's like, I'm the captain now and this is you world. And like points at the orgy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> While Peterson's like, yay, finally. And everyone's like, no, we don't want to. You, we, it'd be better if you weren't here. Wait, this is, <laughs> why not? I'm great. <laughs> uh, and then the what becomes John Luke Picard and we have Star Trek The Next Generation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or Janeway, guys. Um, listen. Peterson said, licking his lips. Has it done anything? What harm has it done? I'm asking you. And anyhow, it's still mine. You have. Huh? Oh, Peterson. So why bought is he it for licking his cents. lips? So he's like getting. Oh, he's himself- like nervous, maybe. Oh, yeah. I he's thought just- he was hungry. For I thought he was hungry against too. It. Okay, Peterson's, Peterson's anti. Okay, we're pro. He's like, it's mine. Now. So we Let's- should stop ripping up. Yeah, maybe yeah, I'll just yeah, make yeah. him sound heroic now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Change voices. You have no right to shoot it. It doesn't belong to you. <laughs> yeah. Franco raised his gun. I'm going out, Jones said. I don't remember what Jones sounds like. Jonesy. He's his, a cat. Oh, his face white and sick. I don't want to see it. <laughs> Me too, French said. The men straggled out murmuring. Peterson lingered at the door. It was talking to me about myths, he said. It wouldn't hurt anyone. He went outside. Franco walked toward the wub. The wub looked up slowly. It swallowed. A very foolish thing, it said. I am sorry that you want to do it. There was a parable that your savior related. It stopped, staring at the gun. Teach a man to fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it. That, that was, was the it, one. Dude, that was it, dude. Is that what it was? He's like, Peterson <laughs> asked. <laughs> oh, Peterson's stupid again. Uh, can you look me in the eye and do it? The wub said. Can you do that? The captain gazed down. I can look you in the eye, he said. Back on the farm, we had hogs. Dirty, razorback hogs. I can do it. So Peter's or the Seriously? captain's proud of just shooting. He's babies. Yeah. proud he's, that he he's has killed animals oh, God. for fun. What a fucking monster! Staring down at the wub into the gleaming moist eyes. Second time we've heard. Eyes Second were time moist. moist were moist. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can say like teary. Mm-hmm. Like you could say like watering. Moist is like always sexually gross, but this is gross in a different way. It's like it <laughs> seems like infected or something. Yes. Mm-hmm. There's no good moist. I guess a muffin, but I don't want someone to be like, it's a moist muffin. A cake. I think a it's like a cake, cake is really right. moist. It's, it's truly the Any, only context yeah. in which I can stomach the word moist. For a moist. dessert. That's uh, correct. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> we like eating cake. Cake for breakfast. Uh, anyway, he's got moist eyes. He pressed the trigger. The taste was excellent. <gasps> wait, what? We jump Brett! cut to him having eaten. The we th- jumped cut. We oh Brett! wait, he said he says he does like a like keep going. Oh oh, oh my is god. It the, oh shit. Okay, they <gasps> Franco. Oh, they no. Franco. They wait, Franco. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, no, no. They no. Didn't. Wait. Okay. Just All right. Tell stop us, just looking at your Brett. Stop looking at Brett. It's no one look at everything. No one look at Brett. Okay. 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 What? What? They sat glumly around the table. Oh, Some sure, of them hardly sad. eating at all. Yeah, they didn't like it. The only okay. one who seemed to be enjoying himself was Captain Franco, the fucking <gasps> pig killer. Oh. Oh. I know. I know. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. What happened? More, he said, looking around. More and some wine, perhaps. Ha ha ha. Not me, French said. I think I'll go back to the chart room. Me too. Jones stood up, pushing his chair back. I'll see you later. The captain watched them go. Some of the others excused themselves. What do you suppose the matter is? The captain said. He turned to Peterson. Peterson sat staring down at his plate, at the potatoes, the green peas, and at the thick slab of tender, warm meat. He opened Ew. his mouth. Was gross. No sound came. Aww. The captain put his hand on Peterson's shoulder. It is only organic matter now, he said. Cool. The, yeah, cool. <laughs> the life essence is gone. He ate, spooning up the gravy with some bread. 
I myself love to eat. It is one of the greatest things that a living creature can enjoy. Read the fucking enjoy. room. Why is he still talking? <laughs> I guys. don't know why everybody else left, but me and you, don't we're going to talk about how great eating is. Don't worry, you guys. Eating, don't resting, worry. meditation, discussing things. I have a prediction, but I, don't I already wanna... made it, and okay. I'm right. I think. Okay. <laughs> I wish I could wub your mind so I could <laughs> see if it was the same. Well, we're about to find out more. Peterson nodded. Two more men oh, got up I and know. went out. Okay, cool. <laughs> I we're on the same wub I think we're on the same, right? same yeah, yeah, yeah. wub Uh The captain drank some water inside. Well, he said, I must say that that was a very enjoyable meal. All the reports I had heard were quite true. The taste of wub, very fine. But I was prevented from enjoying this pleasure in times past. He dabbed at his lips with his napkin and leaned back in his chair. Peterson stared dejectedly at the table. The captain watched him intently. He leaned over. Come, come, he said. Cheer up. Let's discuss things. He smiled. I love discussing. Yes, yeah, I love discussing and shooting pigs in the face. He's talking like about Odysseus. One person to like be in this room with him. Mm-hmm. Oh. As I was saying before, I was interrupted. The role of Od- Odysseus in the myths. Peterson jerked up, staring. To go on, the captain said. Odysseus, as I understand him. And that's the end. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the, the end. end. Wait. So okay, hold on. I was the web switched places. So he switched consciousness. We switched brains. Yeah, with I, I was wrong. Oh, you were. I was wrong. I oh, assumed I thought that, it was. What did his, you think happened? I thought he was imagining while being stuck. I thought the web had created yeah. a fantasy, but then they were all eating the captain still. But like that, they were eating the web's flesh. But the captain, I think, was in the web. Yes. But okay, then I'm confused about why. The captain in the wub was still acting kind of like a wub. He wasn't a wub yet. Oh, right, right in the moment that he yeah, he switched. Oh, it was ah, oh, like it was oh. a wubberoo. Wubberoo. <laughs> yeah, as the technical Classic term. Classic wubberoo. Oh shit! Yeah. He got wubbed. Okay, I he got wubberized. Uh, I, we were same same yeah. wub length though. Yeah, same wub length, mm, but wrong. I thought it was a projected fantasy. That's what I thought. Something. Like, and then we were gonna no. cut back to like. Like his eye, <laughs> like we're gonna pan out, and then it was gonna be like his pupil. I was like, no, yeah. I, I mean, I, liked I was ending. right. I, I like the ending. Right. I like the ending. Did you enjoy yeah. the ending, even though you were super right? I did because I love being proven. She loves right. being right. She okay. loves being right. I love it. And I think she loves more than being right. Yeah, you're I'm, so right. I'm so satisfied. You're right very now. right. It's like I ate Captain Wub. Oh shit! And I'm that taste sorry. Was good. I mispronounced Captain Wub. Captain, Captain Wub. Wub. Captain Wub. Uh, wow! I am so relieved, right? You are so fucking lucky. You, he, that you know we what? liked the end of that story Brett, because it was not looking good for you. For Brett's a been while. living a life of danger because if you guys listen to Teen Creeps, we've already said that he's been affected by Heath Graham, and it's made him a bad boy. Granger, oh Heath Granger, it's Heath fine. Granger, yeah, <laughs> Heath Granger. Um, and he's li- he's like living a bad boy life, and now he's like, you know what? I'm gonna pick something kind of bad. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick, be kind of bad. It's gonna like threaten animal violence, but like not get there. Nice. Well, excellent choice. Excellent reading. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Well, Justin is a voice actor. It's an excellent it's a thing work. I sometimes yeah. do. Do you want to say some of the other stuff you've done besides Danger and Eggs? Yeah, Let plug whatever you want, credits. man. Plug man. What other? I was on a show called Buddy Thunderstruck on Netflix. It's a kid show. It's stop motion. It's great. It's fun. Um, and I guess I don't know. I'm on in my Care Bears yeah. coming up. Cool. If you're a child, Sunshine Bear. Yeah, awesome. can you fucking believe it? That's, That's a thing. awesome. Ruining Lindsay's childhood. What? You're not ruining. You it. loved Funshine, and I feel like I, it's not. Funshine was be... my favorite. Well, I just accept it's a very different Funshine Bear. Yeah, but I will be talking directly to you every now and then from within oh, the show. Cool. Well, that is my dream then. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. That's all you want is a Care Bear I, talking to you in the TV. I've been hanging out with Funshine Bear for like ever. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I want you guys to come on my podcast at some We'd point. Love I would love to. We would love Batman to. Batman the Animated Podcast. Mm-hmm. When it Yay. comes back. Yeah. Uh, um, and say the name of your new Audible project again. Yes, so Bad people. Reception. Audible.com slash Bad Reception. It's six and a half hours of improvised, oh, break it up. lightly scripted, heavily improvised audio comedy. Check it out. Hooray. 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 Thank you, guys. This Thank so you. Fun. Thanks for being on the podcast. Yeah. You guys are the best. And thank you for listening, listeners. We appreciate all of your wonderful uh, positive reviews on Apple Podcasts and whatever other uh, podcast apps you use. Please continue to do that. That helps us the most. Um, word of mouth. Tell everybody no. Tell your friends, your enemies, your neighbors, your ex-lovers. 
Uh, Especially those. Just hit them up. Just be like, yo, this is something I think you'd like. Send them, <laughs> um, like, love story. Yeah, anyone you're trying to get to be a vegetarian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you again. Uh, we'll hear you next week. <laughs> Keep it lit. Forever Dog. This has been a Forever Dog production. Executive produced by Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. For more original podcasts, please visit foreverdogpodcasts.com and subscribe to our shows on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Keep up with the latest Forever Dog news by following us on Twitter and Instagram at Forever Dog Team and 